but in days to come, uh, you'll look back and think that this moment was funny. It's from 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, what does it say? OBL reportable. Knock em dead, just like we did. Who's it from? Joe Biden. Are you kidding me? We used to play softball together when he was in the Senate. He knows something about the landing leg. Get on the air! We're going! When did you turn into Ted Baxter? Enjoy the moment. Herb, have Washington throw it to us in 30 seconds. Copy that. DC control. You're gonna throw it here in 30. Good thinking. Let's see the banner. Right here. Do it for me, Will. Good evening. From New York City, I'm Will McAvoy. ACN is now able to report and confirm that for the first time in almost three decades, the world has no reason to fear Osama bin Laden. In just a moment, in a live address to the nation, the president will announce that in a coordinated operation under the cover of darkness, US special forces tonight killed the leader of Al Qaeda, and the mastermind behind the deadly attack of September 11th, 2001. It's been nine years, seven months, and 20 days since America's most wanted criminal took from us 2,977 American sons and daughters, fathers and mothers, friends and colleagues. We were transformed that morning into a different nation, more fearful and so, of course, more hostile. And while nothing not even this victory our country has waited for for such a long time can bring back the souls lost on that terrible morning in New York City, in Virginia, in a field in Pennsylvania, and all across America and the world. Let tonight serve as a welcome reminder that throughout our history, America's darkest days have always been followed by its finest hours. Here now, from the East Room of the White House, the President, of the United States. Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. It was nearly 10 years ago that a bright September day was darkened by the worst attack on the American people in our history. The images of 9-11 are seared into our national memory. Hijacked planes cutting through a cloudless September sky, the Twin Towers collapsing to the ground, black smoke billowing up from the Pentagon, the wreckage of Flight 93 in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where the actions of heroic citizens saved even more heartbreak and destruction. And yet we know that the worst images are those that were unseen to the world. The empty seat at the dinner table, children who were forced to grow up without their mother or their father.